Hello friends, this video conic section part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched conic section part 1 to part. We'll take one more example. We have to find whether minus 4 comma 2 lies inside the circle or outside the circle. So what we can do first, we can just find the distance of this point from 0 comma 0 because this circle is a circle which has origin as a center and r is equal to 5 because it's 5 square 25 is equal to 5 square so if we can find the distance of this point minus 4 comma 2 from 0 0 and then if that value is greater than 5 then that point is outside circle if the value is less than 5 then this point is inside circle so let the find let's find the value of d of minus 4 comma 2 comma 0 0 that is distance between these two points that is root of minus 4 minus 0 square plus 2 minus 0 square that comes out to be 16 plus 4 that is 4 for 16 and this is 4 that is root 20 right now root 20 is it greater than root 25 yeah this root 20 is less than root 25 because this is root 25 is r that is 5 so root 20 is less than root 25 so since this point is less than root 25 that is r so we can say that this minus 4 comma 2 lies inside circle had this point value be more than root 25 that is r we could have told that this point lies outside the circle so we see that this is the circle we have correct and this r is equal to 25 or you can say root 20 root 25 this is r is equal to 5 that is root 25 and this distance is this is 0 0 and we have got minus 4 comma 2 somewhere here and we found that this value is root 20 so since this is root 20 and this is less than root 25 we can say that this point p is inside the circle We'll take one more example. We have to find that minus 3 comma 6 is outside or inside. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll find the distance between minus 3 comma 6 and 0 comma 0. So what we get is root of minus 3 minus 0 square plus 6 minus 0 square. What we get is root of 9 plus 36. That is root of 45. Now root of 45 is greater than root of 25. So here also we will draw the same diagram. This is 0 comma 0 and this is this distance is root 25 and now we are told that there is a point P the distance is root 45. Since, since the distance is more we can make out that this point P is outside the circle. So if we have if we are asked to find whether the point is outside the circle or inside the circle just find the center of the circle and then Using the center, you find a distance between that point and the center. If the distance is greater than r, then this point is outside. I'll say outside, outside. And if this distance is less than radius, this point is inside, i side. Correct? That is the logic we have to follow. Here we have to find the equation of circle that passes through 0, 0 and makes an intersect of a and b on the coordinate axis. So let's draw first the coordinate axis. This is my coordinate axis. And now I am told that a circle passes through 0, 0, 0, 0, and A and B points in the coordinate axis also. So my circle will be something like this. something like this the circle is not very good but something like this so now this is x is a y is 0 a comma 0 and this point is 0 comma b so this is the question we find the equation of circle which passes through 0 0 this is this point 0 comma b and a comma 0 so very simple we have this equation of circle x square sorry x minus x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square so 
H and K will be somewhere here. Now what I'll do? I know that X and Y satisfies three values: zero comma zero, a comma zero, and zero comma b. So first I'll put zero comma zero. So zero minus H square plus zero minus K square is equal to R square. Or I get H square plus K square is equal to R square. This is equation one. Now R square I can replace in this equation. So I have the equation I had was x minus h square plus y minus k square. That was equal to R square, and I know that R square is equal to h square plus k square. So I'll say is equal to h square plus k square. Why I'm doing this? Because I am reducing the value. I mean I am now writing this equation only in the term of h k x y. R term is gone. So this is my Or I'll say again. I'll write x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to h square plus k square. This is my equation number two. This is x. Correct. Now I am told that a comma zero and zero comma b satisfies this equation. So I'll put a comma zero and zero comma b in this equation. So what I'll get is a minus h square. Plus zero minus k square is equal to h square plus k square. Correct. So I solve this. I get is a square minus a square plus h square minus two a h plus k square is equal to h square plus k square. This h square k square h square k square cancel. Or I get a into a minus 2h is equal to zero. So either a is equal to zero or a is equal to 2h, but a is not equal to zero. So we can say that a is equal to 2h. So this is 2h comma zero. Or we can say a is equal to 2h. That is again equation number. Three. Now again I'll put zero comma b in this equation. I'll get zero comma zero minus b zero minus h whole square. Plus b minus k whole square. I'm putting zero comma b in this equation. I'm getting is equal to h square plus k square, or I get h square plus b square plus k square minus two b k is equal to h square plus k square. H square k square h square k square cancel, or again same equation b into b minus two k is equal to zero. B can't be zero, so We can say that or b is equal to two k. Now, since b is equal to two k, we can say k is equal to b by. And here also we can say that h is equal to k by. So now we have found we have found the value of h and k. H is equal to a by two, and k is equal to b by. Correct. So we have the value of h and And we also have the value of r. R square is nothing but s square plus k square. So we can write the equation in this form: x minus h is nothing but a by two square plus y minus k is nothing but b by two square is equal to r square. And r square is h square plus k square. So h again is nothing but a by two whole square. H square plus k square, k is b by two whole square. So this is our equation. We can solve also, but this is our equation. X minus a by two square plus y minus b by two square is equal to a by two square plus b by two square. Okay. This is the equation, and this is the answer actually. But if you want to solve, you can solve it further. If you solve this equation further, you may get equation like this. X square plus y square minus a x minus b y is equal to zero. Just you have to solve it. I'm not solving it now. You can solve it. This is simple mathematics. You can solve it. You'll get this answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.